range of combs to choose from, available in a variety of scales to match different film thickness needs. Each comb is made up of teeth of steps lengths. As the outside teeth are pushed down onto the substrate, the coating depth is measured by which of the graduated teeth are covered. When dipping the comb into a wet film, it should be placed down evenly and at a 90 degree angle to the surface. You then remove the comb and examine the teeth. Depending on the standard you're using, the wet film thickness of the coating is either the last coated tooth or between the last tooth that's coated and the first tooth that isn't. For example, here our thickness is either 225 microns or somewhere between 225 and 250 microns, depending on the standard being used. We typically suggest halfway between the two. This wet film thickness can be recorded and used to predict the dry film thickness once the coating is cured. To calculate the dry film thickness, you need to know the solids to liquids ratio, also known as the volume solids content. If this ratio is 50-50 or 50%, then a wet film thickness of 100 microns will mean that the dry film thickness is 50 microns once the liquids have evaporated. Most wet film combs can be reused, so simply wipe or wash the comb after use, making sure that any solvent-based coatings or cleaners are disposed of responsibly.